The word salinity in the passage is closest in meaning to salinity. Coral reefs are highly sensitive to changes in the temperature and salinity of the water and, and may die if these change even slightly. So, the sentences before talked about two things, right? They only form in shallow tropical waters that receive plenty of sunlight. So this is temperature, right? And here, where there's a lot of fresh water runoff, they don't live, right? So salinity will be uh, related to fresh water. So salinity is what? The saltiness, okay? So C is the answer. Acidity means how much acid it contains. What is acid? Acid is a chemical substance, usually a liquid. And um, it has hydrogen in it. And it forms salts when uh, they react with other substances, right? And it can burn or dissolve other substances that come into contact, okay? So it's not acidity. Velocity is the speed at which <coughs> something um, goes in a direction. So it's not this. Briskness may, means how fast it is, all right? How quick it is. So D is not the answer. The answer is C. The word the word fringe in the passage is closest in meaning to, even if you don't know the word. There are several types of corals. Some circle an island or atoll. Um, others, such as the Great Barrier Reef, form long continuous lines out in the ocean, far from land. And some reefs are attached to shores and fringe the coastline. So what would it be? It's along the coastline. Do you understand? Even if you don't know the word. Border. Near. Approach. Reveal. Definitely it's not reveal, right? Near. Approach. Border. Which is the closest? It's along the um, coastline. So it's border is the closest, right? Border is the dividing line between two countries. So it's along the edge of the country. So it's the best. Fringe is a decoration attached to clothes or something like a curtain. Okay, And it consists of a row of hanging strips or thread. The word it in the passage refers to what? The word it. Otherwise, a coral reef may be the instrument of a ship's destruction, ripping a ship, ship apart, sinking it, and drowning its crew. Drowning what's crew? The ship's crew, right? So the ship. C is the answer. Which of the following can be inferred from paragraph four about coral reefs? They have caused many more, they have caused more shipwrecks than any other natural features. It doesn't say they have caused more shipwrecks than any other natural features, so A is not the answer. What is a shipwreck? Shipwreck is a ship destroyed in an accident at sea. Wreck is something being completely destroyed or ruined. Sailors have tried to map some of the bigger reefs. Map means to make a map of that thing, all right? that area. So B is not the answer, it's not mentioned. 
they are commonly, most commonly found circling islands. Okay. They, some of them circles the islands, right? But it doesn't say they are most commonly found circling. Do you understand? Circling islands. So C is not the answer. There can be gaps in them that allow some ships to pass. This is right, right? Because it can be sometimes what? It can be sometimes... Where is that? Booms. Which means it's a good thing. It's a helpful thing for the ship. The um, sailors, alright? Because it can provide shelter from the forces of the treacherous ocean as long as a ship can find a passageway through them. So there's a gap. So you can... You can infer this from the passage, right? The word disrupt in the passage is closest to mean too. If, even if you don't know the word. Unfortunately, human intruders often disrupt the ecosystem there, okay? And look carefully the ones that are coming. Taking chunks of coral with them for their aquariums or to make jewelry with, okay? So this is doing what? Taking chunks of coral and making the jewelry. What is this? This is disturbing, right? So the answer is what? B, right? Dispute means arguing. Discourage means to make someone less enthusiastic in their actions. Disengage means to um, be separated. So disrupt is B. Why does the author mention Hanoma Bay? To name some of the sea, na, to name some of the sea creatures that live in reefs like it. The author didn't mention Hanoma Bay to name the sea creatures, okay, that live in reefs. To describe how big it is compared to the Great Barrier Reef, he didn't mention Hanoma Bay to compare the size to the Great Barrier Reef. To give an example of a reef that is popular with tourists, so this is why he mentioned, right, Some, like Hanoma Bay in Hawaii, they have a lot of visitors each year, okay? So that's why he mentioned. To emphasize the need to protect it from human invaders. This can be a little confusing. This, because this is right too, actually. So Hanoma Bay, they have a lot of visitors, um, but human intruders, intruders often disrupt the ecosystem there, all right? And they take ch the coral with them to um, decorate their houses or make jewelry. So this is one of the... Uh, this is why the um, author mentioned Hanoma Bay. But the direct reason, the first reason, the direct one, why he mentioned Hanoma Bay is because he wanted to say, he, he used it as an example of uh, having a lot of visitors because of the um, attractive coral reefs. Do you understand? So, C would be... C would be a better answer. According to paragraph 6, coral bleaching occurs in water. The pollution in water causes a chemical reaction in the coral. The pollution causes a chemical reaction. This is not mentioned, right? The polyps in the reef begin to die 
and cannot ma maintain their, their color. This is not mentioned either, right? The coral cannot cleanse itself. Cleanse means to clean of all the garbage that has been left in the reef. This is not mentioned either. The zooxanthellae are no longer li living in the coral and changing their colors. This is the reason, right? When water becomes over polluted from human sewage, garbage, chemical waste, algae grow in enormous quantities. They are too much for the sensitive coral, which make the zooxanthellae leave. All right, and because zooxanthellae are what give the coral their colors, the coral becomes white. Do you understand? So D is the answer. 